Hey guys, making homemade chicken and cabbage soup. I thought I'd, I took two chicken breasts that were previously cooked and I just chunked them up. Okay. The green stuff you see in there is my dehydrated cabbage that I used with my dehydrator. I took about two handfuls, about like that, out of there and I put them in there. I chopped up one small onion, about that big, um, wasn't a very big onion, and I put two spoons of chicken bouillon, and the spoons are this size, not heaped up real tall, okay? Then I put a little bit of pepper, tasted it, and then added a little bit more table salt. You'll have to just um, figure that one out for yourself as far as the table salt goes and, this, and whatnot, what spices you like. Um, don't put too much salt in there to begin with because the chicken bouillon is pretty salty. After this is cooked for a while, I'm going to add bow tie pasta to it. But I'm going to let this simmer for at least an hour. So we decided that we wanted some homemade chicken soup. And that is, oops. This is cabbage that was previously dehydrated, and then some little chunks of onion. Oh, and I put four small cloves of garlic in here, chopped up, fresh, fresh cloves. Um, they were my garlic starting to get a little old, and I'm trying to use it up. So I took, you know, a clove, smashed it, took the cover off, and then sliced it up, and then chopped it up a little bit, threw it in there. It's rather large chunks. It's not finely ground or crushed. I have some garlic in the fridge that's already uh, usable as is, but I wanted to use up the fresh stuff first because it was starting to go out. So, or well, not go out. I guess more accurately, it would be that it's going um, old. So, we're gonna have cabbage and chicken soup. It's really super good. I just filled up the, the pot to about halfway and stuck it on high until it started really getting warm and it was just about to the boiling point and then I turned it down to a simmer and of course I'm going to cover it up and let it just simmer along for about an hour and we'll see how that goes and uh, after I add the bow tie pasta I'll bring you back and uh, we will show you the finished product as well. Um, as you go taste it Okay, you may or may not need to add more water when you add the pasta because it will soak up some of the water. So you might have to add more water. You just have to watch it and see. I may not put that whole bag in there. It's not a very big bag, though, so I might. And the bow, bow ties are really small. It's only 7.05 ounces of small bow tie pasta. This is the stuff that I got for like really super cheap, the 25 cents a bag or something like that at the Dollar General. Um, it was leftover chicken. We'd made chicken and rice the other night, and I bought one of those big packages of the chicken breasts at Walmart for $1.99 a pound, and I just cooked them all up at once. So we made chicken and rice, and we ate off of it, and then I ate some of the actual chicken, um, just, you know, cut, up a, cut off a piece and ate it, and it was super good. I just baked it in the oven for three fifty for an hour just to get the chicken, you know, and I seasoned the chicken up really well, too, when I cooked it. And... Uh, Anyway, I knew I was going to make some soup later on in the week, so this is what, three days past the chicken and rice. So I wanted to use up the chicken that I already had cooked because you can't leave it in the fridge more than seven days once it's cooked. So, all right, I'll bring you back in an hour or so whenever I uh, add the pasta, and then we're going to let it cook for about another 10 minutes. Uh, but we got to taste it before we finish it up. So, because I like to give the salt, pepper, and all the other kind of spices the opportunity to become fully incorporated before I taste it. So I added a little bit of table spot salt just now and I'll let it cook a little while and then I'll come back and taste it. I won't bring you back for just the taste test. But anything you do is taste it is salt and pepper to taste. I like a lot of salt and pepper in my food. Um, you know, I thought about putting some poultry seasoning in there because of the chicken. But with all the other flavors going in there, I think it'd probably be enough. So. We'll have to see on that. Uh, you can use dehydrated 
onion or onion powder if you really want, if you don't want the chunks. I wanted the chunks, so that's why I did that. Okay, I'll bring you guys back in an hour. Okay, I just put the bow tie pasta in there, see? There it is. And I added some more water, which cooled it down, which means we gotta bring it back up to temperature. And I'm gonna let this sit for about 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna set the uh, timer. for 15 minutes and as soon as that's done we should have chicken soup yay all right I may cook some biscuits with this that sounds good I think I'll do that Let's set this to 350 and my thing is 50 degrees off so it says 350 it's really 400 so we set it to 300 to make it 350 I know it's weird okay well I'm gonna get the biscuits in the oven and that'll give me time to get this finished and then we can have dinner and I'll show it to you when we're all done. I'm just gonna put this on pause. Okay, I've got the biscuits in the oven. They're just canned biscuits. And that and their timing should be the same for both of them. They should be ready at the same time. And I will bring you back when it's all served, show you how it looks finished. Okay guys, dinner is served. Got the bow tie pasta, the chicken, the cabbage. Now you can add other cups of vegetables if you want. If you want to color, you could add peppers, anything you want really. Because uh, it's just a chicken vegetable soup. And then some biscuits. And uh, anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know how easy it is to make homemade chicken soup. It is super easy, super simple, super cheap. That is a piece of cabbage right there. But you could put green beans in it if you wanted because that's kind of what it looked like. Um, anything you want. Carrots, whatever. All right, guys. Thank you for coming. Hit the thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Uh, come back and see me. You know, Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And Anyway, y'all come back and see me.